U.S. Defense Chief Ashton Carter arrived in South Korea a few hours ago. He has said the goal of his trip to Seoul is to reinforce the deterrence against North Korea. Just ahead of his arrival, the news broke that Pyongyang had fired two short-range missiles off its west coast. Our Na Young has the story. South Korea's defense ministry says North Korea fired two KN-06 surface-to-air missiles into the West Sea on Tuesday. This was confirmed at a regular press briefing two days later on Thursday. The ministry's spokesman Kim min Seok explained the press was not notified right away because the missile's range is not very long, making them relatively non-threatening. Kim added that the North fires these types of missiles on occasion and that the South Korean military is keeping a close eye on the matter. The news broke a few hours before U.S. Defense Chief Ashton Carter left Japan for Korea on Thursday. When asked about the test firing, Carter reportedly said this was fresh evidence of how dangerous things are and stressed the importance of the region's strong alliance with American forces. His visit to Japan and Korea this week is his first since becoming defense secretary in February. Before embarking on the trip, he had made it clear that the goal of the trip was to reinforce deterrence against North Korean provocations and strengthen trilateral military cooperation between Seoul, Washington and Tokyo. But local media outlets here in Korea are watching to see whether South Korea and the U.S. will discuss the possible deployment to the Korean Peninsula of its THAAD anti-ballistic missile system, also known as Terminal High Altitude Area Defense. Carter will meet with South Korean Defense Minister Han Min-gu on Friday before leaving for Hawaii on Saturday. Na Hyun-gyung, Arirang News.